Hey bebés, how are you? We are Kim, los celestinos, and today we are going to talk about the very interesting subject, the synthetic macromolecules. The nature use polymers on their daily life and they don't even know it. Here are some examples of objects that the natives use. Sweaters, dents, some tables, CDs, teflon, glasses, and chirurgic gloves. Now, what are the characteristics, addition, and condensation of polymers? To know these fields, we need to know what are the polymers itself. Polymers are macromolecules that have one or more chemistry units that repeat themselves around the world on chain. The characteristic additions are a big molecule from formed by a lot of simple molecules of a kinase for the breakdown of its double links. To understand the condensation of polymers, we need first to know that the monomers are the ones that join together to form big molecules. Now the condensation polymers are the ones that form by the monomers, but the process simple molecules we are eliminated. And the other polymers have an effect in our life because we know that the cotton is a polymer and also is essential for us because we use it as a resource to make clothes and as well it is used in factories to create products and this is an essential part for car parts. A study made by the National University assured that the human-made poly polymers have a bad impact on the environment than the natural ones that have a good impact. Adequate and rational use of the polymer compost. I am going to talk more about the separation of trash because this is not going to happen overnight and starting with small and easy things we are going to help in many ways because this is a problem of the embryon as mentioned before the problem is going to progress as well on the technology and now it's easier because we are going to see different methods of recycling the code help use but this means also have many consequences we are also going to help recycle and reuse these materials and to have weather ambient for the project object now we're going to talk about the eating habits of the teenagers teenagers usually have bad eating habits which is bad because Eating healthy is important for the development in, and health. When a teenager eats healthy food, his body is healthy itself because the healthy food has some proteins, minerals that make his body feel healthy. We as team recommend to teenagers having better eating habits because not only you will have benefits for yourself, also for your family, they will have a, a better metabolism, feel more healthy, and have more energy. All parties do know about the vintage of eating healthy, but if not, you can easily convince them telling them that you will buy more healthy, have more energy, have more meta metabolism, have a very physical aspect, and feel very weak yourself.